Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we're hanging out here on the Citadel server just outside of West Hill, the medieval town that I've been spending the last few years building and we've been poking away at the pumpkin farm here along the West Road. We worked on the roof and the chimney, which is now sending some smoke up into the sky. And I think I want to try and do a little bit more work on the inside of the house as well as along the outside here. Uh, it's feeling a little bit strange uh, on this end. It's a little unbalanced. Uh, I do like what we've done with the small garden here, so I want to see what other things I can come up with to fill this space with. Um, I know the idea originally was going to be a pig pen, but I like the little pig pen, so we will have to try to come up with something else. And I want to come up with some sort of like maybe a chicken coop or something that looks like a duck house even though I know there's no ducks in Minecraft and I do like where that pond is and I want to move this ugly thing and try to find a spot for it maybe maybe we can put that out back although it would make more sense I guess to have it closer to the road so we'll have to see what we come up with uh, but inside is pretty sparse we have no textures uh, the textures of the walls are gonna stay the way that they are because that's the outside of the house and that's how I prefer to prioritize that uh, but like this that uh, there's nothing on the walls so that might be an easy place to start and check off a couple of boxes as well landy5 thanks for the follow appreciate it welcome in everyone good to see obu blast jordan hi there all the regulars i saw sweet sandy and grandpa crafter are also kicking around somewhere and i feel like there was somebody new that I did not recognize. Who was here that's new? Hyped 1X Geek. Welcome in. Thanks for saying hi. Always nice to see somebody new in chat. Let's kill the shaders so my frame rates can go back to normal. And I mean, the other thing that also is bugging me is that this wall is obviously very much a placeholder wall. Maybe we should just work on the back entrance here and try to work our way around. Although, what the wall does here actually might be dictated by what I decide to do with this space. So that could be a good place to start too. Uh, first things first, let's just, very easy to rebuild. It's also various, you know, not a very solid final look at what I want to do there. Uh, I don't think I want to do pumpkins patches. I do like this bit of green, but we'll have to figure out what we want to do here. I wonder if this could benefit from maybe like a little marshy area. So sort of like what we have over here. Maybe we could just do like a little tiny one. Just like in this space right there. That could be kind of fun. Yeah, I'm not not grabbing any inspiration in terms of what we're going to do outside. So let's focus on the inside right now. I will almost always certainly need trapdoors. We'll keep some of these and signs also going to need armor stands, tripwire hooks, possibly levers. Chests, maybe a crate. I don't think we have room for a smoker. I don't know if we have room for bookshelves either. Although, we'll maybe test around and see what we can come up with. And then for mini blocks, beehive, um, maybe a barrel. I'm gonna need some candles because I think I'm going to extinguish the fire will probably go with a nice warm candle. So either light gray or regular candles. Pumpkin mini block is very likely going to happen. Oh, I need the recipe for pumpkin pie. 
Pumpkin, sugar, and an egg. Well, I've got the pumpkin. I have no idea. If I have sugar anywhere, I might have sugar cane over here. I do. That's not one to one, is it? We've got to do. Oh, it is. Okay. So now I just need an egg. Do I have? I have an egg. Maybe inside. Oh, first off, fill this back up. Magma Fire, thanks very much for the lurk. Appreciate it. We are definitely trying to grow the viewers on the channel, and lurk is a great way to do that. Put me on in the background. Nice chill stream. Uh, eggs. If I was an egg, I would be hiding in one of these chests. I've got to find... Oh, look. Look at that. Memory like a steel sieve. Pumpkin pie. And I don't think there's anything else in here that we could necessarily use. I don't think I want to bother with leather boots. I think we're good. Wait for night. Good to see you. Hello, hello. Super fast. Thanks for the lurk as well. It's a great way to boost your favorite streamers, folks. If you want to watch or if you've got other things to do, like cleaning the house or making dinner. Or even just doing something on your own that doesn't require your full attention, then throw your favorite streamer on in the background. Statue's book and maybe some books. I don't know if we're going to really have a lot of room for books per se. So coming in the front door, I definitely want to have maybe some stuff happening here. The pumpkin, the pumpkin pie is going to sit pretty flat. Unfortunately, that does not um, look like much. I just think it would be a fun kind of gag to add. Uh, but I think putting maybe a loaf of bread in the corner would be good. Uh, we can also do things like put down an actual pumpkin, which I think would make a lot of sense. And maybe maybe that's more appealing than the pumpkin pie. Um, we'll have to see. I don't know if you would be able to see the pumpkin pie from out here. I guess you could. That would be kind of fun. Put the pumpkin pie there would be neat um what else could we do i i don't know about i guess that in the window is is all right yeah i mean it's visible we could also put the pumpkin up there too Putting the stream on uh, background while at work. That's right. Yeah, I forgot. Sometimes people work on Sundays. <clears throat> uh, well, let's put the pumpkin pie in the window. That seems like a probably good idea. Oops. Um, auto align. So then we'll rotate it. I 
I mean, I guess it's a half-eaten pumpkin pie, which is kind of silly. And then nudge it, uh, we'll go plus three. Don't know where it went. <laughs> Start the work, the lurk army. That's nice. That would be a fun little meme. Man, do I love allergy season? Said no one ever. Uh, let's go. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. I think that's pretty good. That's one done. Now, uh, the other thing in the front here, I was thinking that it might be good to have a bookshelf. I know it changes the color of stuff. I would prefer not to have that color there, but we could have that go like that maybe. And then, didn't bring any stairs with me, but maybe that would be a good place to put, maybe you could put another bookshelf there, or we could just put something up there that's more interesting. Uh, I'm not crazy about that. Maybe we just have to go with something lighter. Wonder what we could put here that would be a little bit more I guess functional put it on a barrel well then you can't access the barrel really and like what would the barrel be full of uh, I do kind of like that. I'm not crazy about this lining up right there. That's the only thing. That's why I thought having a full, I mean, the texture still changes. So maybe what we need to do here is get something oak related. Don't really know. I mean, a crate would stay dark. So that's cool. That's a note block, by the way, for people that don't know my note blocks or custom textures. That's not bad. It seems kind of cobbled together, but it's, it's not terrible. I 
I'm tempted just to put a second bookshelf up top. We do have the 3D model for the bookshelf, so that really helps too. And then when we put books in it, I don't know. Is this? It's a little one-room pumpkin farmhouse. How many books do they? Do you think they're going to have? It's a really well-read farmer. Yeah, I think the advantage of doing this is that the color here runs straight up, and you don't have that weird triple texture happening. And it doesn't change too much. I mean, you barely see it coming in. It does seem a little bit strange over here though. It's the only thing. It doesn't match like anything else. Hmm. I mean, alternatively, we could have a table there. And that won't let me place anything there because of the armor stand. Hmm. Well, one thing we could do uh, is add an armor stand here. So while we're trying to figure out what we want to do next, I think that's pretty good. Maybe a little bit more. And that color kind of helps tie things together there too, which is good. Uh, yeah, I'm undecided about that bookshelf. What else could change here? I feel like we could put some darker blocks maybe underneath there. Oh, I need to change the this. And then... I'll go get some... Do I have basalt out here? I probably don't. No. Okay. Getting to that point where we're picking up all the little blocks I don't normally have on me.
put those out there. I don't know if we'll need deep slate. Most of this is stuff we already have out there. I'll bring this back out. Crosshatch, hello, good to see you. Almost sounds like a military nickname. Like Crosshair from Bad Batch. There's always one thing that you don't have in the Shulker Monster that is 100% true. Always. Squealit, subscribing at Tier 1. 12 months, currently on a 12-month streak. That is one full year of support from Squealit. Can we get some love and chat for Squealit? That's amazing. Thank you ever so much. A whole year, that's just bananas. So we can put a table there. I like that idea. The trap door didn't work, but. If we do this. I do like the dark. Feels a little bit more functional. I could put the bookshelf up there. Have more room to put stuff down there, I guess. This just feels like empty space, but if I did this, oh, why can I not? I think I like that better. Now that is a stair. I might want to switch that to spruce. Yeah, let's just see what that looks like. If it's if it's a lot better inside, we really can't see it outside. Plus, I think it looks a little bit better outside. Oh, yeah. Yeah, much prefer that. Is 
It's weird how the granite looks very strange inside. Yeah, I think we're gonna... I'm gonna add that in. A little bit more interesting lap like that. Uh, maybe layer a sign in there. I need some brown dye and a couple of other things. Blame Cosmic. They gave me a gift sub and I continued after seeing how awesome and friendly the Discord is. Oh, that's really cool. I'm glad that uh, Cosmic brought you in and that uh, you decided to stay. It's a cool story, Squealit. I hope that's the case of people that get gift subs. Like, I really hope that people decide that they really enjoy hanging out in the Discord. Brown dye over here. Uh... All the different blocks in the roof feels like it works. Thanks. I'm still on the fence about it a little bit, but I think it's doing all right. Those look like they've already been dyed. There we go. Okay. I'd say that corner is just about finished. I do want to see what it might look like with a different table or another table. Full inventory. Who had 33 minutes? Does not take very long. So, option one would be having another table and we need the furniture hammer. Also, not using shears at the moment. So we could have a long table like that, or we could add another sort of butcher block looking thing like that. It's a little bit more interesting. Mm, sticks out a bit. And the idea that I think I would I would put something else there. Um, probably like I think the loaf of bread would go good there. Here, maybe we could put something else on the counter. Like a small chest or something. I do think we could probably get away with a chest in the corner here. For anybody wondering, those are trap chests, and then my regular chests look like, they look like planks, spruce, spruce planks and uh, oak planks. It's an idea I stole from Jermsey Boy. I think I like the regular chest. I don't get to use them very often, and I think it helps balance out the lighter colors over there. So we'll put that there. So it's not really going to be a bedroom, but it's more like a bed area feel like a tripwire hook on the back door would make a lot of sense. Some place to either hang your hat or something. Maybe another one by the front. And I'm not worrying about the floor just yet. Do I want that to be open? I think I like that closed. And then candles. I'm assuming the gray ones are probably going to look the best. We might have to go light gray. Or are those light gray? 
Those are light gray. Crap. Maybe we'll go white. We really only need a couple there. Mind Trip Media with 100 bits. Thanks ever so much for the support, as always. Appreciate it. So maybe not those. We'll try these. I doubt very much that these will look good. And green might be just over the top. But none of the other colors, I think, are going to work very well. I really think this is just trial and error. Uh, it's not terrible. There's a lot of green that you can see through the windows. There's a green book in the bookshelf. Yeah, too much like the tablecloth. And the bluish gray also does not work. I don't want to do brown because the bed is brown. So I think... We'll go at least two. And since it's getting dark, it's a good time to do it. So a couple spots there. Oop, I don't want to sit down. So it just lights things up. However, visually, it's still kind of dim. So I think maybe we'll add in one more candle. Yeah, I like it. This is a good idea. I'm glad that we're checking off the house. Definitely is nice to move through these these things and get stuff finished. All right, so I think I like that. Uh, these feel pretty empty as far as their um, their detail. However, I wonder if I can squeeze in. The only issue there is making it look like it connects to the chimney somehow. So I could maybe get rid of this. Oh, that's visible from the outside. Crap. And then that connects to the stair outside and that causes all kinds of problems up there somewhere. Yeah, that doesn't work. Okay. I know you can't see it, see it, but it will bug me. That looks pretty cool. Like, that makes sense, right? It's just that this can't be there. This has to stay wood, I think. So maybe, will this work? I, you know, it's not terrible. It's not terrible. I might want to try a polished andesite stair. Don't think we're going to need the levers. Have you ever seen Westrow Craft? Uh, very briefly, I've seen like YouTube videos. I've never walked around in person. I have, however, walked around in person on Minecraft Middle Earth, and that was bananas. 
I've also watched, I think it was Corrales did a tour of Minecraft Middle Earth with a buddy of his. And I mean, it's just wild. I really would like to know what changes have happened in Minecraft Middle Earth or in Westeros Craft since they increased the world height. Because the, when I went to look at them, the world height hadn't been increased. One, 118 hadn't come out. Uh, so without caves and cliffs, you know, uh, that looks good. I now kind of wonder if I need to do something else with this. Unfortunately, I don't think a full block is going to look very good. I could just do this. But then we see that. I could use a slab. Nope. What about also no one of those situations where like it's not perfect but you're kind of stuck i think that works i think that kind of sells that we have a small stove um i guess my loaf of bread will go over here somewhere i gotta remove that too I'm not sure what would go there. Tough, I guess. Oops. Do we like that? Does that do symmetrical? Hmm. I can't decide. <laughs> this is where it'd be really funny if I had a video camera because my head would be kind of tilted sideways. <laughs> like a dog when it hears a funny noise. It's like, mm, do I like that? I think I'll leave it like that. Uh, this maybe. This feels very empty, so I'd like to do something here. Uh, maybe some sort of shelf. If I do it lower, we can actually put stuff on it. Makes this feel a little bit more like a sleeping nook. And maybe we can put some carpet there. I'd like to do something else underneath the bed this is where I think you can cheat a little bit and use just a different block to make it look like there's a shadow under the bed it's actually pretty effective and then underneath the campfire which I think I have to destroy we're gonna change that to basalt this is why we need different inventory features uh, 
Uh, anything else I need to put away? I guess these. Andesite cobble. What would be a good way to make it look dark? Near the sink, I guess. Maybe basalt again. Concrete powder, maybe. At last, I've managed to catch a Citadel stream. Heard about it from the Spawn Chunks. Says Flazerty. Thanks very much, Flazerty. Welcome in. Thanks for saying hi. Yeah, this is it. This is the Citadel and West Hill. Uh, we're outside. We're outside the main town. We're in the, the pumpkin farm, which you probably heard about on Monday's show. Monday's podcast. I'm sure everybody in my chat room has already subscribed to my podcast. It's free thespunchunks.com or wherever you get your favorite podcasts. It's very easy to find. Realize there was no texture on this in here. I think that's probably all we need. I'm tempted to make that smooth stone. Oh, maybe a sideways basalt texture would look wet. It's a little, little dark. Maybe we'll go that and then here. No, that was better the other way around. Oh, I didn't bring out all the basalt. I just brought out the regular basalt. Can you do that smooth basalt? Nope. Oh, crap. Didn't mean to break that. Now I need my bucket again. Cosmic Dancer with 1,000 bits. Thanks very much. From the, the lurky background. I appreciate it. Hunter, what's up? Let's go in another door. I keep on forgetting that I have to do that entire basement. It's it's all functional Minecraft base in the basement and it needs to be turned into like a distillery. Wonder if smooth basalt will be what I need. Oh, now I can't. Oh, that's so frustrating. I really dislike that about the armor stand data pack. So now I've got to unlock this armor stand. Unlock the armor stand. I've got to move it. And I've got to put this down. Fill it with water. Move the armor stand back. Lock. 
lock it again. And we're back to where we started. You know, actually that does look a little bit wet, doesn't it? Or worn. think I like this one. Maybe not there. So just little touches to can give some light, some wear and tear, some shadows and stuff. Small little hearth piece. I think helps as well. Uh, I don't know if I want to go with a carpet there, but we'll see. I didn't bring my snow layers either. Don't want to go overboard. I think I prefer that look to having a loaf of bread there, so I think we'll go with that. Somebody suggested a barrel, but I think you meant like a full-size barrel, but a barrel mini block actually works pretty well there too. Uh, anything else? So I just wanna experiment with maybe some carpet and maybe get some layers of snow there. I don't think this is really a place where you're gonna be hanging something on the walls per se in terms of like paintings and stuff this feels a little empty but I, you know it's kind of a minimalist vibe if we had curtains it would make sense to do stuff like that but we don't Yeah, all right, we'll go get the snow. I don't think I have snow layers in here. Nope. I do have some carpet. Brown is probably going to be too much like the bed. I used to use coal ore block near fire hearths. Looks like ash stains. Oh, that's a cool idea. I've got lots of that. <laughs> Anybody that's in the know understands that that is the understatement of the year. Uh, I'm a bit of a pack rat when it comes to coal ore. And so I do have some. I feel like I have more just outside of that too. Yeah, look. I'll grab one of those. Good idea. Thank you. Uh, snow. Some shows a full shulker, yeah. I refuse to take anything out of the shulker, too. It's a weird flex, because it's not that useful. <laughs> I'm going, going to guess too much brown 
and gray blends in too much with that and white is probably just going to be crazy yeah so up here we could go with just a single layer not really visible or if we go with snow I think two layers was probably the best sort of looks like linen although I'd like to maybe add maybe we'll do one more armor stand That's good enough for now, I think. Uh, what was the other thing I wanted to test out? Uh, oh, the coal. Where would we put that? Here, maybe? Or over here? I think I like it over there better. Feels more like that path right although I guess here made sense too because you'd be shoveling coal ore into the stove hmm Lazardy says, I'm with you. I'm definitely the hoarder category of Minecraft Minecraft players. Hey, look, it pays off in the long run. Whenever I need to go and, and do something, um, build something, I always seem to have it. There's very few things that I've had to stop uh, the stream for and go to collect. What do we think? Do we want the coal ore over here? I mean, I think this was probably cobble. I think I like that better. I think it stands out more there. I'll have to I'll have to remember that though. That's a great idea. Thank you. I think we're good. I think I don't really see anything else I need to be doing. I'll maybe sneak in a darker block underneath there. Yeah, cool. It's just a tiny place, so no need to spend eons on it. I like it. All right, cool. I did a poker for the ashes um, on the other build, so I don't want to do that again. It's a good idea. 100% good idea, but I just don't feel like repeating the same things over and over again. Oops. That's snow. Cool. Thank you, Sweet Sandy, for the reminder. I was just thinking the same thing. So we've finished that task, and it's actually the first hour of my stream. If you're new, as I think a lot of you are, we take a break once an hour. I just grab another cup of coffee, stretch. You should, too. Give yourself a small break. Tell a friend. We are trying to grow the channel. Uh, the more eyeballs that I can get on this content, the better. It's free. Uh, people lurk all the time. 
Uh, there's no uh, pressure to chat if you don't want to, but if you've got a friend that you think might enjoy this, please let them know about both this and uh, Joel Duggan VODs on YouTube because you can watch the building of this entire area uh, brick for brick, no edits, no cuts, all live on stream. And you can check that out on YouTube as well. I'll be back in about five or six minutes. I'll see you folks then.
Flazerty with the subscription via Prime. Thanks very much. That's amazing. Make sure you connect your Discord and your Twitch uh, because then you have an inv invite to the Joel Duggan Discord now that you have subscribed with Prime. And uh, that'll be accessible for as long as you have the subscription. And you just look for the Joel Duggan Discord in your connections tab in Discord after you connect Discord and Twitch if you do not have them connected already. Coffee is hot, squeal it as it should be, and black. It's good, I can't remember the name of the roast off the top of my head, but it's it's my usual brand from Costco. It's like a Indonesian whole bean. I've got a grinder, so I just I grind fresh coffee whenever I want it. All right, so now that we're doing outside stuff, I feel like I like this bush idea here. So we're gonna grab some acacia and some azalea, some moss and some moss carpet, as well as ferns and grass. And I think we'll give a little bit of a border on this side as well. Well, yeah, maybe not that far. It's all about little bits at a time. You know what? That one, it's good. I grew up uh, getting one with San Diego Bridge on it. That's my mom's favorite. Okay, cool. Um, this one has got an elephant on it. I want to say it's like a it's like a beige and orange package. I should know it. I've been I've been drinking it for probably the better part of a year. Uh, I like that, but I don't like. I think I'd be better off here with just this. Oh, no. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Do you have another farmhouse farm planned here? Curious what you do next. So there's another farm over there. So there's this whole area here. I feel like there could be two farms here. I feel like this one's going to turn into like a, an apiary, like a bee farm. And then I don't know what I'm doing with this just yet. I feel like this might move and be, I think that might be the rundown house. Something that's abandoned. Because that would be cool because then we don't really have to fill it with much. And we could do like an overgrown patch of farmland here. So maybe it's a mix of like wheat and two tall grass and, you know, something like that. Subscription with Prime from Tarsiris, 31 months. Thanks ever so much. That's amazing. 31. Wow. That looks pretty good. Yeah, I think it would, I don't know if it's going to be easier or harder to do an overgrown farm, but it's something I've never done, so that's appealing as well too, right?
That looks pretty good. This is starting to look a little bit funny. Yeah, I think that works. Kind of gives a definition to this area. It's a little asymmetrical, but that's fine. I might want to actually go up a little bit farther here. This could be a little more dense, perhaps. Yeah, I think that works. Sort of looks like it's coming down over the wall. Just cool. Whoops. Fisk Notter, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Mick Scrugan subscribing at tier one, 38 months. My goodness. Thanks so much, Mick Scrugan. Hope things are well. Clearly for the bee farm, we'll have pink flowers, right? <laughs> Over my dead body. There's a whole farm of pink. Whole farm. Right over there. Somebody wants their cake and to eat it too. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing in this space. Any ideas? I really don't know. So I'm going to move on and do the duck pond, I think. I'm happy with this little shrub. I guess I can grab some textures and do that while we're thinking through the path. I don't think I want any mangrove. It might be a little bit dark. Did I do textures over here at all? I want to make sure I keep them the same. Don't think I have. Not very much. Uh, 
I don't know about that one. I always try it, and I never seem to like it. Whoop. Yeah, can't say I like that much either. Cool. Pretty straightforward. I just have to make sure I'm not repeating the process. I want to copy exactly what we did. good to me. A lot of time with these textures what I try to do is kind of show the way a person might be walking day to day. Maybe pull the, the player's eyes towards the things we want to look at. Got to learn to type on mobile. Oh, look, I am so glad that I don't try to type quickly on streams in mobile. That would not be, not be something that would end well. was pretty easy. Too much of the same. Not sure what we could put there. Maybe some gravel. This is all very much in a straight line too. Wonder if I could maybe remove this. I think that's a little bit better. Yeah, that's better. Could almost go for a dirt here. Yeah, I think that works better. So that's done. Uh, what are the other things that we could work on here? Is 
If anybody had any ideas in chat for this area, I completely missed them. Oh, you had a DM in uh, Steven's chat earlier. I didn't know Steven streamed today. That was cool. I missed that. Yeah, strip jungle is too bright for for this combo of textures. All right, well let's um I guess I could look up like a chicken coop or something. Let me just grab my Pinterest page here. So, fields and farms and gates. Fields and farms. That's pretty cool. So it's just trapdoors, fences, with the trapdoors and the edges being up a little bit higher. I like the railroad um, tie there, the rail. That's cool. Composters full of stuff on the ground is a really cool idea i never thought about that never been a fan of these i don't think that's really how i want to roll i don't know if i actually want chickens in there or not but i, I do like this idea it's a little big we might want to make it something a little bit smaller but that's on the table as a possibility anything here in the distance that's got a lot of texture pack and stuff on it too I try not to copy Minecraft stuff, but it's a decent idea. Uh, what else do I have got here? Walls and gates, fields and farms, towers, roads and paths, ruins. Buildings, I think, are going to be mostly large. I don't think I have like small things in here. Although, sometimes you can get little ideas. Single wagon is a good idea, too. Single wagon. Anything else? Mostly this is a large building. File. City, interiors. Well, if we go back up here and we look at this and then see what other things Pinterest might give us. There's a wagon. That's a cool idea for a Apiary. A bigger chicken coop. Just some quick thoughts, but I'd say the chicken coop slash small duck shelter. Waterfowl shelter. Really wish there were ducks in Minecraft. So where was that? There was an extra. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's save medieval fantasy fields and farms. All right. So get some trapdoors. Might be able to use some hanging signs, slabs, fence posts, or maybe dark oak fence posts.
composters. Oh, I will need more of those. Don't know about anything else. Maybe some mangrove roots. All right, let's just mess around and see what I can come up with. I do have to get the railroad tie. Nothing else in there I don't think would really work. Chickens into a pond pretending they're ducks. The hopping around in the water broke the illusion real quick. Yeah, so I don't think I'm actually going to put any animals in here. But I think it's a neat idea. So the idea I think that they did was they had spruce trapdoors kind of like in this area. I'm not even sure if this is where I want to put it, you know. And then there was fences. And then this went lower. So we'll get the basic idea. Switch colors in case it looks better. And it doesn't really matter because it's going to be too wide. So we can do that. And then this, I guess, would be outside. trying to take that idea that we saw in Pinterest and scale it down a little bit. I always search for a chicken coop. Uh, if you're brave enough to search on stream. Yeah, I mean, it, I'm sure it would just come up with more Minecrafty stuff. See, this already is getting bigger than I want it to be. A lot of trapdoors. Yeah, I don't know why it needs to be up so high. Right? Like, that doesn't seem to really be something that I want. I could lower it, which would save a lot of, a lot of space and a lot of trapdoors. I mean, not that it matters, but... And if I did this, I think I would probably maybe give it like a jungle roof or something. I'd have to bring in some of the jungle, I think. It's a neat idea, but I think it's just a little bit too big for what I wanted. I do like that as a nice touch. All right, let's try this closer to the ground. 
This is the slow part when you're doing everything live on stream is is the the trial and error when you're live. One thing we could do is waterlog, kind of like a ramp going down. Maybe we'll make that something more wood looking. that and then maybe we have something like this the opening could maybe be there that open. It's really small, but could end up being nice. I could also do two stairs facing one another, maybe. Sweet Sandy, thanks for being awesome. That looks terrible. I think we have to go darker. We go maybe dark oak. And I don't know if this is really going to work the way that I'm hoping. It's just, it's really small. So you're, it's, it's not giving structure vibes. It's giving like box. I guess that's the advantage of the one that was up on the legs is that it was a lot clearer what it was doghouse vibes yeah definitely it just it's not feeling intentional it feels like a jumble of really basic blocks right i like this bit the the rail going down in the water but don't know i 
I think it's just because it's not big enough to have a proper like roof gable on it. Maybe if we make it just a little bit wider. That's a little bit better. Rob came in, subscribed to tier one. Thanks very much, Rob. Very much appreciate the support. Make sure you connect your Discord and your Twitch accounts. You can find us in the Joel Duggan Discord. Hang out with everybody in between streams. That's better. It's better than it was. And if I do that, then I can get rid of this. And then... And then if I had some signs... There's also the possibility of using hanging signs as legs. I could try that too. Yeah, that doesn't really work either. has a little bit more structure to it. I kind of think I'd want this to be on the inside. Changes it up a little bit. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not great either. Get the feeling I'd probably want to have this be dirt around the corner here. Cosmic Dancer, holy smokes. 10 gift subs. Going out to the community. That's amazing. Thanks so much, Cosmic. Zyber Warrior, Dynia MC, Baker's Dozen, Ben Troy 19, TTV, Kelly Easy, Kelly Elsie, uh, Justin Toons, Nan HD, The Quoob, Q Triple OB, and O'Near. Thanks very much, Cosmic. That's amazing. If you got a gift sub first, thanks, Cosmic. Second, Get in the Discord. You'll get access for the next month. Hopefully you've heard me mention how to get there in the last 10 minutes. If not, connect your Discord and your Twitch. I think a lot of people know how to do that now. Turing, hello, hello. Good to see you. So the fact that I do want some sort of structure there I think is important. That makes sense. And then I think I like the idea of um, those composters again. Uh, I guess maybe here.
No. Be patient. That's a cool feature. I do like that. Uh, shovel. Pretty good. I feel like it makes sense. Probably should ch save that for later because this is probably going to change and that'll turn into concrete. Onir, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Blast Jordan says, Microsoft PowerPoint and I have decided to cut the relationship for now. <laughs> I have returned. Yep. Uh, there's a lot of software out there like that that is pretty, pretty frustrating these days. Oops. Yeah, I feel like some of this stuff might end up being overgrown a little bit. Maybe we'll put some leafies in here. Maybe a little bit overboard on the carpets. Yeah, I'm sure we'll be able to work out a little bit more detail as we move along. All right, so I get the idea. I, I'm still not final on this design, but I feel like we've gotten most of the way there. I might try to look up a couple of other ideas just to see if there's something we can pull from something else. Wouldn't be bad either to maybe have this, maybe something a little bit more functional looking. Looks like it goes up and down. Breaks the roof up a little bit.
And we could improve the, the floor texture in there as well. Put a hay bale or something in there. Could be good. Uh, I don't know. I wonder if we can get away with some signs on the roof. P1, hello, welcome back. Um, there we go. This may or may not work. It just looks like it has horns. <laughs> not at all what I was thinking. All right, worth a shot. Worth a shot. I wonder if we can get away with like making a really lopsided roof. Having the the ridge line be off center. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, maybe if we do two more stairs? Yeah, I'm not sure what you call these. I know what a chicken coop is called, but I don't know what a house for a duck is called. Duck house... It's not a duck coop, because that does not roll off the tongue. So that might look good without this up there. Yeah, so th I think that helps, but then now I don't know what to do with this. Maybe we just have to have it closed? more interesting if it's open. Don't know whether I like that more. Yeah, you know what? I think it's better that way. We could always add or change the block here so that this is not right on the edge of the water. We could just move, move that left or right. Just by adding a block. Or even a half block. It wasn't the end of the world before. I don't have any dirt stairs but I could use maybe spruce Dania MC thanks for popping in to thank Cosmic for the gift sub that's really nice hope you're having a good weekend
spruce stairs. I can't really think of another way to break up this corner outside of maybe a trapdoor. And even then, it's not wide enough. That actually works pretty well. I think I like that better. This may not stay this texture. I would think stripped spruce would be the better one. And then we can do this here and just take it straight down. That could probably be a barrel maybe as well. That could help. Yeah. And then I brought out the slabs on purpose. I don't know if we'd make it any deeper. We might in order to get some swaying seagrass in there. That would be kind of fun. I think this turned out okay. This is probably the best that I could do at this scale. I think there are a little bits where we could make some improvements. Not that people are going to see it from the back, but It may even look cool with a slab on the front here. Or maybe two slabs. Hmm. I like that a little bit better. I don't know, maybe we have to stick with slabs. Maybe we just have to stick with slabs. I get very indecisive about stuff like this. Oh, do I not have any more? I don't have any more slabs. Crap. I just have regular spruce slabs. I wonder if I went really off the rails and went with like a mangrove, how that would look. This is the thunderstorm. That is D-A-double-K dark. Of course, then I can't do trap doors. If I do mangrove.
No, that really doesn't work. Again, it would work, I think, if this was just a little bit bigger. Nope. Maybe signs? I am really just throwing wet noodles at the wall here. I think the thing that's missing is just not being able to put the roof going out past the walls without going out by an entire block, right? I think that's the tricky part right here. That's right. I think that works. So do I have got coarse dirt? I feel like this should maybe get one block deeper. At least a little bit. Maybe not there. See, that probably looks good. Yeah. Pretty good. So we'll do the coarse dirt everywhere. Dream is at two hours. Thank you very much. Uh, you're right. I do have to wrap things up today. All right. Uh, just get this bottom part in so I don't forget anything. We'll come back and finish this on the next stream. I am thinking about adjusting my uh, summer schedule, so you might see uh, some extra streams during the week or some different times. So keep an eye out for that on Twitter. Oh, you know what? We're not going to bother with those. I don't have a bucket, so we'll come back and do that tomorrow. Well, not tomorrow, but next time. Uh, but pretty good today. We managed to finish the inside of the house. All very good. A little bit of finicky stuff with the uh, armor stands but hey we got there i do like that suggestion from the chat for some uh soot or coal on the ground very cool idea we also polished up the edges of this little carrot and potato garden and did all the texturing on the paths sort of working around the corner and fought with slash have resulted in a draw as to whether we have successfully created some sort of duck shelter for the duck pond. Uh, the duck pond is going to uh, be probably the easier part of this whole build and really the thing that I want people to look at. So that will be probably what we handle next. Uh, we will pass you all along to somebody else playing Minecraft. And that is going to be, who's playing Minecraft right now? Uh, Tadpole is playing Minecraft. We'll pass you all on to Tadpole. Sometimes he switches over, but we'll go to Tadpole Milk. Have not rated Tadpole, I don't think, this week. So we'll pass you along there. Always a good afternoon with Tadpole playing Minecraft. I do podcasts. Did you know that? You should know that. Free at thespawnchunks.com and thecitadelcafe.com. You can, of course, subscribe on your favorite podcaster. You can check out things like Twitter and Instagram. Joel Duggan, very easy to find. And last but not least, uh, thank you to everyone that supported today with a gift sub, prime sub, uh, make sure you connect your Discord and your Twitch. Join us in the Discord. It's a lot of fun. And uh, don't forget to check out Patreon 
if you um, want a very affordable way to continue to support me and maintain your your um, membership on the Discord, it's only $2 a month on Patreon. And I truly, truly appreciate all of it. You all are awesome. Cosmic and Sandy, thanks very much for the moderation today and over the weekend. And I'll see you all on the next stream, which right now is scheduled for Thursday. But keep an eye out, like I said, for potentially some schedule changes. Uh, I might be just shifting things so I have a little bit more time off on the weekends. But we'll see. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Bye for now.